Science Center is this incredible R&D lab in the heart of America that is really contributing towards the longevity of storytelling in this country and really supporting just a number of really different voices. I didn't think that I could be a playwright because of um, where I come from, because of uh, not coming from money or not having anybody like that in my family. Um, and being paid and having support, financial and time and space, it leads to a greater uh, diversity of stories on the stages and, so, and that will hopefully lead to a greater understanding of people in the world um, and in this country, which I think is very important these days and always. I feel like people are making the next great plays here. That people are coming here and they are workshopping and developing the, the stories that like, we will be talking about in 50 years, in 75 years. Um, I think it's starting here. The Playwright Center has played an important role in my trajectory as a playwright because before I was a fellow here, um, I was working full time. Uh, at a tech job in Seattle, which had no relevance to what I was interested in doing artistically. But the moment that I got to be a fellow, it was actually the first time I got to make playwriting my priority um, and actually uh, pursue it professionally. You go to theaters throughout the country and they'll tell you how important new work is. What they don't often have is the ability to actually spend time developing that work in a really uh, consequential manner. As we're connecting our playwrights to theaters throughout the country, we also create an opportunity for that real and in, really in-depth development to happen, to bring those plays to a point where uh, a theater can more easily take a chance on a new play uh, because it's been worked, because it's been developed. One of the extraordinary things about the Playwright Center is that we've been around for 46 years already, and so we've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of writers and artists come through. And as we think about legacy, rather than kind of looking backwards, right now we are invested in a very transformative moment for the organization where we're thinking ahead. We often talk about the work of the Playwright Center supporting a changing face, a changing voice, a changing aesthetic of what theater in this country looks like. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with how the idea of new work, which used to feel just like it was about something edgy or something risky, actually now I think pertains a lot more to whose voice is telling the story, who is framing a story in a certain kind of way. Writing for the stage requires the collective imagining of a group of people who together um, experience something uh, collectively and are moved, hopefully, and transported uh, to a new world, a world that has never existed before, but on that stage, in that play. When you're giving dollars to the, to the Playwright Center, uh, we're utilizing that money First of all, to, to actually uh, really invest in our playwrights directly. We're giving them uh, life-sustaining uh, uh, fellowship funds. We're paying playwrights to actually do their development. The voice of the playwright is a very specific one. Um, I think we come with an openness and an understanding of, of, of the, the conversation of what it means to be human that I feel like the world um, benefits greatly because we exist.